Hi, I'm Peggy McDonald, and um, I just wanted to tell you the things the Shinon House has done for me. Um, they have been there for me in a couple of my deepest, darkest hours. They have um, helped me with my rent and with some of my utilities, and in and in turn, I was able to bless some of the girls staying there with rides and places uh, to go do volunteer work. And um, I've just enjoyed all the things they've done for me. And they have really helped me out a whole lot. And um, I'm just so blessed to have met all these women and, and to be, um, be able to bless them back. My name is Whitney Wise. Um... I've been, I was addicted to meth. I was pregnant with my little girl of two months and I needed help, so I went to rehab. I lost my oldest daughter. Hi, I'm Britton Willis and um, I was at the Shine On House in June of 2018 and the Shine On House had a huge impact on my life. If I would not have gone there, I don't think I would be where I am at all today. Uh, been clean for four years. Um, I got to have my oldest daughter back. My little girl I was pregnant with is three. I went to Shine On because I had nowhere else to go after rehab. And I went to Shine On and it was changed my life. Uh, biggest support system I have to this day. Um, um, before Shine On, I was a major drug addict and I was very unstable in life and um, when I got to the shine on house everyone there just accepted me for what I was and helped me to get back on my feet and do better as well as grow in my faith I really didn't I guess no love then um, I do now um, Shine On just changed my life in every single way. And I would not be here today if it wasn't for everyone that contributes to the Shine On house. Um, yeah. So thank you, Shine On, and everyone that was involved there. So as I'm driving to work at my new job at a drug rehab, I uh, was thinking about the Shine On house and where I was at before I went through there and uh, what kind of person I was when I first got there. And then I think about what kind of person I am now and uh, how much closer I am to the Lord, that I'm still sober. And I don't think I would have made it without the Shine On House. Hi, my name's Mary Robertson. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, last year I was, for years now, I've struggled with addiction. I really appreciate the time that they spent to show me that I'm worth it. And um, I was homeless when I went there. I didn't have anywhere to go. And at first I was bitter and kind of bratty. I was a bitter person. Uh, I couldn't even stand being around myself. <laughs> um, and so. As I went through it and uh, spent time in the devotionals and the praying, being a part of the food bank there and, and just being of service, it made me a better person. And I'm extremely grateful for the people and the time that they spent just to show me that uh, I was enough and that God loved me enough. I was seeking help and I got to come to the Shine On House in September of 2019. I just wanted to say thank you and I can't wait to see what God's got in store for me. It's been amazing so far. I went from not having custody of my children, being on drugs every day, not having a job, not having any vehicles or anything. I, I didn't have anything when I went there. Got to come to the church at Faith Center and my life has been completely and totally rebuilt from the inside out. I'm now a happy person. I enjoy my own company. And now I work at a drug rehab facility I have custody of both of my children. I have two brand new vehicles, my own three bedroom house. And I really don't think I would be there right now had I not went through the Shine On House and experienced the love of God like I did. So it was worth every minute of it. I've got a 
church family that is so amazing. I wake up in the morning with a song in my heart for the Lord. And I'm just truly grateful for anyone who has helped me. And um, thank you all for changing my life.